parts <coughs> of my job that I try to keep quiet. When people say, what are you doing? I say, well, you know, I gotta go spend three days over in Spain. That's what we get to do for the next few days. So I appreciate you all making the trip out here. This is the first media drive for the new LC Performance Coupe, and we're excited that you're here with us. There's a lot of people waiting to hear what your opinions are on this car. Well, throughout our 27-year history, Lexus has introduced a variety of coupes. It started with the SC400 back in 1992. That was followed by the SC430, the IS Convertible, and then our supercar, the LFA, that arrived in 2011. And just two years ago, we introduced the RC and its high-performance sibling, the RCF. All of these cars have attracted an important audience to Lexus. In fact, it's right in line with your audience. These are auto enthusiasts that are looking for high style and high performance in their vehicles. We definitely piqued their interest when we introduced the Lexus LC name back in 2012 with the LF LC concept car at the North American International Auto Show. With its dynamic styling, maybe some of you remember this, it actually won the Eyes on Design Award for the best concept car at the Detroit Auto Show that year. <clears throat> the response from the public was amazing. People loved the car, and there was a lot of speculation about whether Lexus actually would or even could build the car that had been shown there. Well, those same questions were asked back in Japan, but Akio Toyota was committed to making this dream a reality, and the designers and the engineers knew they had to find a way. Well, in addition to his duties as president of Toyota Motor Corporation, Mr. Toyota is also the chief branding officer and master driver for Lexus. Mr. Toyota has personally committed to make sure the name Lexus and the word boring will never be used in the same sentence. <clears throat> he made that commitment after speaking to many people, including some US journalists who gathered at Pebble Beach for a very candid conversation back in 2011. Well, to achieve this goal, the engineering and design teams collaborated closely, and as our chief engineer Sato-san will tell you, the teams addressed challenges one by one to maximize the driving experience while retaining the superior design. The concept car was created, obviously, as a beautiful design, never actually intended for production, and I can imagine what you must have said when they said, no, you need to build this car. <coughs> the LC actually made its world debut in Detroit earlier this year, and once again, the LC earned the Eyes on the Design Award, this time for the best production vehicle, as well as for the best interior design, two awards in that prestigious contest. <clears throat> when we introduced the LC, Mr. Toyota talked about how he had driven the car many times during the prototype testing and proclaimed that the mix of emotional design, driving dynamic, and even the impressive sound of this five liter V8 were signs of the new exciting vehicles that will be coming from Lexus. You're going to get the chance to experience LC tomorrow, so you'll see how Lexus is changing with the introduction of an all-new platform. Chief Engineer Sato can tell you about it, but we're very excited how this will change the feel of Lexus vehicles and how drivers are much more connected to the road. With this new platform, aggressive styling, and either the 5-liter V8 or a 3.5-liter V6 hybrid with the new multi-stage technology, the LC is poised to be very competitive in this segment. In fact, we did a dynamic clinic, something we don't do on all launches, against BMW 650i, the Jaguar F-Type, and the Mercedes S550 Coupe. Customers liked the looks of the LC going into the clinic, and after driving it, they were sold. For the first time ever, <clears throat> after testing the car, we had customers wanting to buy it on the spot. The customers for LC are mostly male, with a median age in the 50s, and a, and a median income north of 250000 They curate their lives and the brands they embrace. They want to be the first to have a new car and to start a trend. We've been showing the LC around the U.S. at large upscale events like LA Food and Wine, uh, as well as small grassroots events like cars and coffee gatherings all over the country. Everywhere we've taken it, the LC's received tremendous response. That excitement will continue with the marketing campaign we'll roll out starting next spring. We've got some very high profile integrations, including a couple of starring roles in movies. We'll share more specifics about those as we get closer early next year. But with all the enthusiasm for the LC, we're confident it's just the car to appeal to coupe buyers who want more than just a style statement. You'll find out tomorrow that this car drives as good as it looks. 
Our goal is to sell about 400 a month starting in May of 2017. We don't have official pricing to share with you yet, but the cars in this segment that it competes with run from high 80s to about 120,000, and the LC is going to be competitively priced in that range. Early interest has been strong. Many of our dealers have been taking waiting lists, although not asking for any money to hold a spot yet. While we believe the LC will be a strong player in the performance coupe segment, the role it plays in the Lexus lineup is much bigger than just the volume that we'll sell. LC is our visionary car for bold design and dynamic handling. This car is ushering in a new era of captivating vehicles for Lexus. The performance side of Lexus also got a boost from our efforts in racing with the Lexus RCF GT3 race car that you see. We're going to have two cars from the three GT racing team led by Paul Genalozzi, many of you have seen, and also a lead driver, Scott Pruitt, that are going to debut at the 24 Hours of Daytona in January, and they're going to run a full IMSA uh, WeatherTech sports car schedule in 2017. <laughs>